Hey guys, hope you're all doing fantastic today. It's a good week. We have basically three days of bust your butt for work, and then you get a four-day week. Well, I get a four-day week. I took off Thursday. We get off Friday. Uh, where I'm going to have a four-day weekend, and I'm going to enjoy it. I have a Lego video that I want to work on. I have a decent amount of recording I want to do for the channel as far as uh, Let's Play series goes. And then... Who knows? I would actually like to work on a couple Lego videos, get those going out, because those I have a lot of fun doing. It's just working on where to actually set them up and where to build them, <laughs> because it's like right when I build it, I gotta put it in a box and pack it away for storage. So it's not something I can just, hey, let's build something and then put it on a shelf. No, it's a little more than that. So I'm gonna work on that this weekend with my four days off and enjoy it. Uh, but we are a few days behind, actually four days behind, on the advent calendar. So let's just jump right into those. With Bluey, we ended up getting the top of the tree. Let's see if we can line this up with one hand here. There's that. We ended up getting the tree topper, which is a star. Put that on top right there. A little octopus, as well as a reindeer sticker. And that covers out the last three or four days for Bluey. Looks cool. I like it. The Lego City continues to be probably my favorite. Well, I don't know. Harry Potter's got some good stuff too coming up. But we got a grandfather clock. We got a Christmas tree, presents, as well as a Christmas tree, a little Christmas tree model, and a cat. Which I think is pretty cute. But I really like what we're getting so far for the, the City collection. Star Wars got a bunch of really cool things. Uh, first off, the ATST. I love this micro build. This is cool. It looks a lot like it. Uh, then you have the speeder bike up here, which isn't bad. I've heard from a couple of people that they did one like this in the past calendars, and it was a little better. So I'm going to have to go and look that one back up. Uh, we also have a Ewok village, which I think is a really cool representation of it. And a, uh, I believe this is called a bunker, or oh, and and, uh, and or bunker. So I have not seen and or at all. If you guys have, let me know how you like it in the comment section below. But I really like the the micro builds that we got with this one. I think it's really cool, especially the ATST. I love this one. I have the large model of this, so I wouldn't mind putting this with that one. As far as the Harry Potter stuff goes, I really like the stuff that we got. Maybe not the lamppost. That's very. I mean, I get it, we kind of needed one for the set, the, the scenery and whatnot, but it just seems like a easy thing that you could have just said, hey, it's a lamppost, well, it's a Harry Potter lamppost, what, what makes it Harry Potter? It's in the Harry Potter advent calendar, that's why. Um, so we're just going to put that one to the side for now. Uh, but we got a butterbeer keg, we have a butterbeer and drumstick, and then we have, uh, I always, I think I pronounced her name wrong in the past, Madam Rosmerda? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below, but I really like these. Uh, I think the only section or set you can actually get her in mm, is one of the Diagon Alley sets. I forgot what the name of the set is, but you there's only one other set that you can actually get her in. So um, it's not bad, but this is a direct duplicate of that one. So it's not really a special character, but I, I, it's cool to me since this is the first time I've actually seen the character, but I love the Butterbeer keg. That's cool. Hey guys, hope you're doing fantastic today. So while I was out and about uh, for work on my way home, I stopped at Best Buy and I happened to walk by and see that they had um, some Lorcana packs. These are the new trading card game out of Disney and I've heard some cool things about it. Um, I've known things like sold out kind of quick when it first came out and I'm kind of surprised to actually see it in stores now. Um, but I wanted to... I'm not, I'm, I wanted to buy a few packs. I'm not going to get into it like I did with, like, say, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon, where I bought a large amount of packs, a large amount of booster boxes, stuff like that. But I like the artwork on the cards. And if I do happen to walk past some packs here and there, I may pick them up. But I'm not going to go overboard and just start buying a crap ton of them. Um, I wanted to see what we got in these. I picked up three packs, one with Elsa on it, one with Maleficent, and one with Mickey. So let's uh, crack them open and see what they're all about. So we got our three packs of Elsa, Mickey, and Maleficent. 
Let's start with my probably least favorite of them. Well, that's cool. We got Elsa right off the bat. Control your temper. We got Beast. Chosen character gets negative two. It looks like a star icon this turn. There's so many things to learn about. The hey, Maleficent. Tanker Bell. Magic Golden Flower. Oh, from uh, Rapunzel. Very cool. This, like, the way... Oh, Hercules, that's sick. That's very cool. The way they have these done, like, with the little thing on the bottom, like, the whole thing screams Magic the Gathering. Like, they did a really good job with these cards. Gramatala. Very cool. Oh, old school looking Mickey Mouse. Love that art. Uh, oh, Hook's Henchman. Starkey. Ariel. There we go, a little better with the focusing. We've got Ariel. Well, that's a neat. Artful Rogue. So there's different types of characters that you can get. We already got the old school Mickey Mouse. This one's more of like a rogue type. Very cool. It comes with, it looks like a special misdirection whenever you play an action. Choose opposing character. Uh, chosen opposing character can't attack or can't quest during their next turn. Is quest the same thing as attack? I don't know. I'll have to look into this game. Fire the cannons. That looks like it's from... Oh, that's Hook in the background. Oh, it's holographic. Oh, that's neat. Wait a minute. Oh, that's interesting. So, that last card we got with the, the scanner and thing on it. Um, I wonder if they put a whole bunch of these together to make some artwork. The Brave Little Tailor. Interesting. We got Goofy. Hakuna Matata. Magic Broom. Nice. Stampede. We're starting to get some Lion King ones here now. Oh, Flounder. Never mind. Oh, Cerberus. That's cool. I The cool thing about this is that I'm just discovering this card game all over again. It's like playing Pokemon card game for the first time or Yu-Gi-Oh. I have no idea what any of the cards are in these packs. So this is cool. Dragonfire. Cool artwork for that one. Sven. Official Ice Deliverer. Jumba. Oh, that's neat. I wonder how many of the characters from Lilo and Stitch there are because there could be a ton of them, especially if they go off of the show. Hades. Oh, well. Cusco. Healing Glow. That is our holographic card. So is there one hollow per pack? That's cool. Oh, okay, yeah. That's exactly what it is. They're, they put um, artwork. Wow, you got to I wonder how big it is. That's cool, though. I like that design. And then for our last pack, we had Sergeant Tibbs. Dingle Hopper. Isma. Stolen Scimitar. Is that from Aladdin? Yeah, it's gotta be from Aladdin. Uh, Aurora. Another Cerberus. Another Gramatala. Cinderella. Ransack. A cool looking Maleficent. Dreamborn Villain Sorcerer. 
Interesting. Wait, so what does the other one have? Just real quick, looking at these two. So there's a difference between... It looks like this one says Dreamborn Villain Sorcerer. This one says Storyborn Villain Sorcerer. So maybe Storyborn is from the original story type of one. And then you have this new one. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, Taka, the burning one. Phil, and he's our hollow for this one too. And our artwork is, oh, we already got this one. This is cool. I like getting Phil. We got a lot of the Hercules ones, which is really neat. So, sorry for the brightness. I got a video uh, rendering right now. It's really bright screen it's going back and forth and replaying over the images i learned something from or i am learning something from the star wars advent calendar um and that is that i need to watch endor everything from this one so far has been i think everything has been from endor or at least majority of it is and a lot of this stuff is really neat and i really want to watch it i think we'll start off with the star wars one this time since i mentioned it but this is a um Endor uh, shield generator. It is pretty cool. I like the micro builds that they're doing for these. This one, the little Ewok village, that one's really cool. I love that one. It's very, well, and the same thing with this one. It's minimalist, yet it does a really good job of representing that area. So I really like these micro builds. And next up, we have the uh, Harry Potter Edwin calendar. There's nothing really magical about this. Maybe the design of it but it's a fireplace I mean it's not it doesn't scream magical or anything except for like I said that so I mean it's cool I like fireplaces but nothing screams really Harry Potter about this for city we have a scrumptious looking turkey and candle and I really like this one I don't know why they went with two different color I mean I get it the Christmas colors for the tablecloth but I think maybe just going with all green or all red would have been a cool idea too. Basic table, not a whole lot to it, but I like it. Anything with the turkey I like. I'm getting more and more of those as I start collecting Legos, and they are awesome. I love them. And for Bluey, we ended up getting another sticker. Uh, I think his name is, what, Bartleby? I think that's what it was. I don't know. It's a really weird, unique name, so that's the only way I remember it. This is the one that if you were to get the official bluey like this one is official it's bluey it's got the bbc logo on the back it's got the production company that makes bluey but if you were to get the one from the actual bluey website because this one was from a local store but if you were to order it from the bluey website this i believe would actually be a real character like bluey and bingo were like an actual figure uh, and not a sticker so yeah i'm kind of bummed that we only got two characters and this was a sticker so that's probably going to be why i don't recommend this one i mean i get it, it's for kids that's cool but if you're paying 20 bucks maybe a couple more figures if a lot of like i think we're getting what five or more stickers out of the whole thing otherwise you're just really cheap toys that only cost a few cents a piece so is it worth 20 dollars no especially with stickers all right, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. It is now the 21st. I had to look at the date. Completely forgot about it. Uh, the 21st, I ended up taking today off. We have tomorrow, Friday off, but we don't have Thursday off. So I ended up taking today off. I'm like, you know what? It's not crowded down there, so I'm going to go down to the mall in Milwaukee and take a look at the Lego store, which is probably not the best thing for me to do when I'm looking for a house. Um, but I ended up stopping at Box Lunch and picking up some anime stuff because i wanted to watch my hero academia tonight um so i want to just chill with that with the the fun japanese candy and whatnot and then and then i ended up going over to the lego store and picking up four cups off the pab wall um they had some cool pieces on there a bunch of gold um pieces some gold um like i forgot what those are called but they, they look like the the funky like elvish kind of uh design to them i thought those were pretty cool uh and then i also picked up they had like the, the, the fancy looking gold gates, they had gold leaves, which I thought were really cool. I picked up plenty of those, but then I also picked up some of the smaller sets um, that I just don't have. Now we have to get into, I think, a couple days worth of uh, advent calendars. We are closing in at the last one. For the 20th and 21st, we ended up getting uh, another present, 
and a, another Santa hat to go with the other bluey stuff we got too. For the Lego City, we got a Chihuahua and Cookies and Milk. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Chihuahuas in the first place, so this one's eh to me. But, made up for it with Snowboarding Mrs. Claus. Look at that. That is so cool. I love it. I wonder what we're going to get for Santa then, if Mrs. Claus is a cool snowboarder. For Harry Potter, we got Draco Malfoy and a table and chair. And then for Star Wars, we got Emperor Palpatine with a uh, Death Star ugly Christmas sweater, which is awesome. I love it. This is what I've been waiting for. I wanted to get a big fi a min like minifigure kind of like this one. We get already got Leia Organa, but I would love to have gotten, like, say, Darth Vader or C-3PO or somebody wearing a Christmas sweater. And we got Emperor Palpatine. And we got his chair, too, which is a l really top-heavy. Like, it is... It doesn't take much. Like, you put him in there, and it's it's tipping over all the time. So, mm, might be a little top-heavy. I uh, might want to definitely pin this one down on the bottom. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's cool. I like it. All right, so that's actually going to probably do it for this video. I don't want to take up too much time. It's already going past the 14-minute mark, which I really, didn't really want to do uh, too often. So uh, I have some more stuff I wanted to talk about and the rest of the advent calendar stuff, but that's going to have to wait until the next video, which will be coming up tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, take care and peace out.